guys, what's up? It's Matt here and I hope you all have uh, had a nice uh, Valentine day uh, and I just finished warming up and today I will be training legs. Um, I will do a very short session, uh, however I think uh, I will be able to um, focus on the main exercises. So I will be starting with squat. I will do three to four sets depending on how I feel. Uh, up to 10 to 5 reps, of course increasing the weights. Um, I will then move on to one leg squat. Uh, I think I will do one set for each leg uh, since uh, it's quite demanding of about I think 12 reps and then I will finish off with some front squats, just one set uh, using the dumbbell, holding the dumbbell with my hands. So I found out actually that using dumbbells for a squat um, gives uh, a slight different feeling rather than using barbell. Of course, barbell is ideal and is the way to go. I will do that if I would have, ac would have access to that uh, equipment. But of course, just having dumbbells, I felt actually that when you try to hit that with both dumbbells on your shoulder, you actually activate differently the muscle in your, uh, say, higher glutes. So that, I think, uh, is quite beneficial in terms of uh, overall strength. But yeah, with that said, uh, we'll see you soon. So guys, uh, I'm here with about 40 pounds uh, in each dumbbell and uh, I will try to do a set of 20. Uh, let's see how it goes. And um, I will then move on to respectively, I think uh, 50, 60 and 70 pounds. I will see if I can get at least five with 70s, uh, let's see how it goes and how I feel. But yeah, uh, let's get started. So that went pretty smooth. And as you can see, I let the dumbbells rest on my shoulders and uh, I basically let them as well um, sit on my head to get some extra balance. Um, the very important thing is that more than if you would have used a barbell, you have to try to keep uh, your back straight. That's why, that's why I advise to don't go too heavy with the weight. So, with that said, I will see you in the next one. So, again guys, this uh, was um, 15 reps with 50 pounds. And for, uh, I mean, as for the previous set, uh, it's not really the weight that is an issue, but um, all the uh, balancing uh, <laughs> problems that you have holding the dumbbells and uh, try to keep your back straight that makes the exercise difficult. Hence activates, uh, I think, uh, um, actually more those uh, stabilizing muscles in your glutes area in particular. And I think that since I'm quite tired, I will just move on to 60 pounds and that's it, change exercise immediately after. It's not worth it, of course, to get injured or have some twitching or pains in your knees or in your back even. Just try to get the last set. That will be the job for another day probably. So with that said, I will see you in the next set. That was the last set of squats, 10 reps for uh, 60 pounds and it was quite demanding actually. So I will stop here with squats and I will move on to some uh, one leg squats. I will be now doing uh, one leg squat and it's a very good um, actually exercise that you can incorporate in your uh, leg session. Uh, I will be also uh, advise you to do some cuts if you can, even between squat sets, that's what I used to do, 
at least we have access to CAV machine or uh, uh, cable machines uh, of any sort for legs. And uh, now talking about the one leg squat, what I like to do is holding on to something. I know that some people uh, don't do that, but considering that I've done also already some quite heavy compound movements, that is some uh, sort of like uh, safety, the um, safety rules that I follow in order to avoid maybe fall or uh, to get injured since I hold my weight on only one leg. Uh, and uh, if possible, of course, uh, if you have access to a gym, just use the uh, leg press machine. That's the best way to go. So I will show you now the one leg squat. I think I will do one set for each leg um, for about uh, 12 reps. So what you need to do is to grab a chair, possibly, and hold on to with your uh, uh, right hand if you want to squat with your left leg and with your left hand if you want to squat with your right leg. So and that then fairly simple and easy, very straightforward, just hold on to the chair, uh, put one leg forward and just go down. So that was one side with one leg. I will be now doing uh, the other leg and uh, yeah this uh, particular exercise can be quite demanding on the knees as well so just be mindful go down very slowly help yourself up a bit if you feel tired with the hand that's why it's there as well so just be uh, cautious essentially be sensible when you exercise of course safety is the most important thing of course right so <coughs> And with this I'm done with the uh, one leg squat and I will be moving on to now some uh, front squat with dumbbells. I will be using uh, 70 pounds and I will be just finishing off with a uh, set of 20. Okay, so see you in the next set. So guys, I'm here with the last exercise. I will be doing now some uh, just one set of front squat before moving on to core and uh, at the end I will uh, leave you with a few words about this uh, squat session and leg training in general. So I will get started. So guys, uh, a few words before uh, leaving you. So with this uh, um, last session, we covered pretty much uh, all the body parts and I will keep you updated with um, videos on uh, different issues as well, uh, beyond training, uh, just uh, simple exercising, I mean, um, until maybe I will not be able to get probably some heavier weight. Um, and with that said, um, I told you um, in, this, in the video, I think, where I was training back, that back muscles are very important alongside core as well. And that has been proved by this session where I've been able to hold on thanks to back and core, keeping them very tight, I've been able to squat, balancing both dumbbells on my shoulder. So that uh, is how important is your back and your core for all the power movements. So moving on to the second point, training leg is very important because legs actually helps you to increase all your lift and your overall strength in general. In fact, you get strength from the friction you have with the ground. And that strength is augmented then by your leg muscles and that connects to your back and to the muscle in your upper body in a, say, chain fashion, essentially, that build up your overall strength. So having strong legs help you in your deadlift and in your bench as well. Okay, so that's why it's very important to uh, train legs 
And what I recommend is, of course, it's not necessary to squat as to the grass, of course, just 90 degree is more than enough. But what I recommend is, uh, if, what I recommend you if you have the opportunity to also to train your mobility and try to slowly, slowly gain a little bit more depth in the movement because that trigger and activates our muscle fibers that when you recruit, actually, you are be able to um, generate more strength in general. So with this advice, guys, I leave you. I will be doing some course. And of course, uh, as always, like, share and subscribe. This uh, helps the channel to grow and also helps me to bring you some more contents and videos if you're happy to see more. And uh, until the next one, stay safe.